here I am talking about nurses again. This time, it's about the nurses in Linden. After the High Court ruled that it was unlawful to deduct salary payments from Linden nurses who went on strike, the government has decided to appeal the ruling. This is the latest action in a specific issue that has been going on for around three years. However, when you take time to look at the history, it shows that Linda nurses have been going through it for a long time. I'm the unspecialist. Let's talk about why Linda nurses are absolutely, completely, totally fed up. Before we get into the main topic, let's hear from Washington Law Firm, today's sponsor. One medical mistake can permanently change your life or the life of someone you love. These mistakes are too common in America, causing injury and sometimes death. If you suspect that you were injured as a result of a medical mistake, call Washington Law Firm today. Don't lose your opportunity to get compensated. Don't wait. Book your free consultation with Washington Law Firm by calling 718 877 3100. Or find us at 455 Utica Avenue, Brooklyn, New York. If you'd like to advertise with us, be sure to make contact via our Facebook page. If you'd like to hire me specifically to host your events for voiceovers, radio ads, or record other kinds of advertisement, you can also make contact using the same means. The beautiful voice that's in the ad on this video is available to you along with many others. Feel free to make contact and inquire about other services as well. Let's start by understanding the case. Back in March of 2021, nurses at the Linden Hospital Complex, LHC, were engaged in protest action as they called for the removal of Chief Executive Officer Rudolph Small. Small had made disparaging statements about nurses when he stated that the nurses would clock in at the LHC and then leave for extramarital rendezvous. In June that year, the GPSU instituted proceedings by way of statement of claim against the Ministry of Health and the Attorney General, seeking, among other things, a declaration that the deductions for absenteeism and persistent unpunctuality from the wages and salaries of the nurses was unlawful, illegal, and a nullity. The state had noted that the deductions were made after the nurses refused to turn up to work and were engaged in a strike which the health ministry considered illegal and premature. The ministry had noted that by memorandum of March 10, 2021, it had notified employees that deductions would be made from their salaries for absenteeism and persistent unpunctuality at work. The Ministry of Health initially dismissed Small, but this decision was later rescinded. Small had apologized for his words, but the nurses and GPSU were adamant that he be removed. The nurses staged daily industrial action in the month of March 2021. The Ghana Public Service Union won the case and the High Court ruled that the decision to deduct salary payments from the nurses was indeed unlawful. The government, through the Attorney General Chambers, will be moving to the Court of Appeal to appeal a High Court ruling that found the deduction of payments for nurses who were involved in a protest over their working conditions was unlawful. The court ordered that the deducted payments be paid over to the nurses and the letter that instructed the deductions be withdrawn. The GPSU said it found that an appeal was being filed in the case after it wrote to the Permanent Secretary requesting that the Ministry of Health follow the court order and pay the nurses the money that was deducted. In his response, the Permanent Secretary informed the union of the move to appeal. The GPSU said the injustice that was committed on the workers should not be prolonged, adding that the workers continue to suffer from the unlawful act. The government stands by their decision to appeal the High Court's ruling, which will obviously prolong this matter. Which would mean, three years later, nurses still haven't been paid that money. The nurses in Linden are undoubtedly frustrated by this protracted process. However, if you look through the history, particularly in the news, you'll see that the nurses in Linden have been facing unfavorable treatment and things like this for many, many years. In fact, we can go all the way back to 2013. Nurses in the mining town of Linden have decided to go on a full-scale strike action from Wednesday morning. The over 75 nurses based at the two hospitals in the town have been protesting over the past two weeks for their gratuity payments which were due in March but were never made. Union representative Maurice Butters told News Source that the move is necessary as there is no clear indication as to when the nurses would receive their money. He said, the union has been told that the government is in no position right now to honor the full payments and would like the nurses to accept less than 25% of the gratuity owed to them. 
That is unacceptable, he said. Fast forward to 2020, during the height of COVID-19, and you'll see that the nurses in Linden are still dealing with pay issues, still dealing with some of the same problems with treatment in the work environment that they were complaining about a decade ago. Several nurses attached to the Linden Hospital downed their tools this morning and picketed outside the McKenzie Hospital over the late payment of their salaries and a number of other issues. The nurses said that they should have been paid their salaries two days ago, but are awaiting word on when the salaries will make it into their accounts. The nurses marched from downtown Mackenzie to the hospital while chanting that they will go on strike if they are not taken seriously. They complained that the situation has been happening far too often and they now want the Ministry of Health to fix the problem for good. Regional Health Officer Dr. Gregory Harris has met with the protesting nurses and indicated to them that their concerns will be addressed. Some of the nurses voiced concerns about not being paid any risk allowance, although they are working on the front line in the fight against COVID-19. Nurses in Linden have refused to continue traveling with the ambulance when patients are being transferred because they are not covered by any insurance or risk allowance. Last year, a male nurse died in an accident while on board an ambulance, and it was then that it was realized that the nurses were not covered while on duty in an ambulance. So why go through the history, you may ask? Well, it establishes the fact that these nurses didn't become fed up or start taking industrial action overnight. Similarly for the decision of many to leave and go overseas. This isn't a problem that started overnight. I would have said in a previous video that it can't be fixed overnight. And as you can see, it didn't start overnight. These nurses, many of them, especially those who have long years of service, would have been dealing with issues like this for the better part of a decade, some of them maybe longer. And today, the government appealing this case, no matter who you believe to be right or wrong, doesn't bode well for the future of the industry. Because when you look at the optics or public perception, nurses that are registered nurses or nurses in training see this and recognize how bleak, barren, and troublesome their future in the industry may be. If you've watched my video about nurses being fed up and leaving Guyana, you've gotten a glimpse at what nurses in Guyana make. Now, with that knowledge, imagine being unpaid, paid short, or paid late. Not once, not twice, but numerous times. And then imagine that issue reoccurring for the better part of a decade. Is that a job, a sector, or an industry that you're eager to enter? Is this something that when you hear it, you say, hey, I'm excited to do this? I didn't think so. And if for a moment you can step outside and think or take a step into the shoes of these nurses, you may be able to understand a bit of what they go through. Fact in that many of these nurses have families, children to feed, rent to pay, transportation to pay for, to get to and from work. Many of these issues or expenses are current not things that can be deferred and apparently deferred indefinitely, as you can see with their salary payments. Think of how things may have been for them, if not for the intervention of the Ghana Public Service Union. The expenses they may have had to go into to defend themselves legally. And now, even after getting a favorable legal decision, they have to wait again through the appeal process. You may not have personally heard any of these nurses speak on a public platform or heard their stories yourself, but just imagine what those stories might be. Do you think the nurses in Linden have a right to feel wronged by how this matter has been handled? Do you think things will get better for them over the course of the next few years? Do you think there's a brighter future for local nurses in Guyana, especially in the near future? Do you have any stories to share about issues like this? Let me know down in the comments. Be sure to like the video and share it. As always, thanks for your support and thanks for watching.